welcome to Kid Crew. This big, strong backhoe has been so helpful. But somebody drove it where he shouldn't have. And now it's stuck. And he's trying to dig it out by hand. It turns out there's a lot of water here. How am I going to get this out with the shovel? Ooh, the logging semi. Well, it looks like the kid crew has something up its sleeve. Do you help with stuck construction equipment? He's got all this wood to put under the backhoe to help it get out. Let's go! This semi can carry so much. Now let me get you up to speed on what happened before this. Dad's been doing a ton of work with this awesome backhoe, but then he got himself stuck in the mud and it's going to rain later. And that could make it so much worse. But the kid crew is always up for a challenge. So what you got here? Wood. Wood? Okay. This is a big load. Unstrap the boards. Remove the chains. One, two, three, lift. And unload with Dad. The ground is really wet. Then grab the tools and build a raft that could go under the backhoe. Done. Do you think this is going to work? Can you go stand on the porch of the house while I do this? I need you really far away. Yeah. He's off to a safe vantage point while Dad starts the backhoe. And lifts it into the air. Look how strong the backhoe is. It can lift itself right up with its stabilizers and scoop. But oh no, the raft is too thick. That's not going to work at all. So Dad will have to go to plan B. Use the bucket on the back to get out. Turn around the seat and bring down the controls. Then unlock the bucket, grab the joysticks, and push the bucket into the ground. Look, it's lifting the backhoe right out of the hole. Wow, this backhoe is great. Put it down gently and everybody, please cross your fingers. I hope this works. Parking brake off, reverse, and go. It's moving without any problems. From now on, Dad is going to have to avoid that wet spot. Thanks for helping me get it unstuck. Let's inspect the ruts. They're deep. Now get back in the semi and drive off. Now that Dad's unstuck, we can finally get back to work. Have you ever noticed this dangerous tree in our backyard? Done. But now there's a huge stump left over. Not for long. Let's get this thing in backhoe mode. Stabilizers down. Scoop down. Hey, come on into the cab with us. Be sure to buckle your seatbelt. Lower the bucket onto the stump. Wow, it's putting up such a fight, even though the tree was super rotten. How about trying to curl the bucket? Oh, it's working. Dad is gonna have a lot of cleanup later. Let's at least break up some of these pieces. Great. This backhoe is really useful. The manager's finally back to check on the progress. Looks good. Now let's get a move on to the next job. Backhoes are so versatile. It's like a front end loader and an excavator in one machine. Does anybody remember when we got mulch delivered last year? It was a huge pile. And while I had good intentions, there's still a huge pile in the driveway. Let's finally take care of it. Look at how big the backhoe is compared to our car. Scoop down. Drive into the pile. Curl. Raise. And back up. Then drive to the backyard. You always want the scoop low while you drive for stability. Line up and push the stick right to curl out. This dumps the mulch. Oh, I'm so glad this project is done. And just like you, Dad always cleans his toys when he's done. Now here's how you can play along at home. The names and certain plot details have been changed to protect the identity of the guilty parties involved in this situation. 
This certain family wants to dig a pond in their muddy backyard. How about we dig a pond today? Yeah, that's a great idea, Daddy. I can't wait. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, do whatever you want, but please don't get me involved. A backhoe is perfect for this job, according to Dad. Load it up on the semi for delivery. And hit the road. The cool thing about a backhoe is it can dig the pond, then move the piles to regrade the land, then pull up to the house, and unload. Delivery is a must-have if you don't happen to own a semi. I'm ready to rock. He's so excited, he can barely handle it. Vroom, vroom. Ooh, he's already stuck. Like, really stuck. Uh, honey, I think I have a problem. I knew this was going to happen. Whoa, she's got a huge truck. Off she goes. That RC truck is really fast. But it's got to get around the backhoe. Under the boom. By the tires. Through the scoop. Expert driving. Nice job, Mom. Now back up into position. Thank you. Anytime. Hitch a rope to the backhoe. And get ready to pull. Go! She got it out. Well, the backhoe is pretty muddy, but it still works fine. Flip the seat around. Fold down the stabilizers. Push down the scoop. And start digging. The backhoe takes a huge scoop. And then goes back for another. Then pound it flat so it holds the water better. Move the backhoe out of the way. And fill it up. A beautiful pond. Now let's learn how it works. This is how a backhoe can get itself unstuck. So let's say, just hypothetically, that you take a perfectly great backhoe and drive it into sticky mud and get it all stuck. The backhoe has some superpowers though. It's got the stabilizers, the scoop on the front, and the bucket on the back. So the first thing you can do is lower the front scoop to raise the front wheels out of the mud. Then put down the stabilizers to act sort of as training wheels. Then take the bucket on the back to push down and get the rest of the backhoe unstuck, and then pivot sideways. Then when you put it down, you're out of the ruts and you can just back out like normal. If that method doesn't work, then you can claw yourself out with all the attachments, as if you were stuck in deep mud. So a backhoe might not have tracks, but all its attachments give it a lot of options for getting itself unstuck. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> I've got it unstuck. <laughs> it's got its stabilizers, Here, if you pull, I think you'll be able to split that whole thing. A huge dead log. Pull, pull, pull. Nice! Let's drive in the backhoe through the backyard. Guys, there you go. Can you open the cab for mittens? You want to look see? Ooh. Check it out in there. Check out the interior. It's like it smells like mud. Mittens always needs to check everything out. Are you checking out the features? Is there a little kitty spot for you? <laughs> How are you gonna get down, little buddy? I hope you guys at home aren't getting tired of our mittens bloopers. He really is the mascot of Kid Crow. Good boy. He just wants to be part of the action. Now what? Good boy. The things we do to entertain our kitty. Look at, look at how he's sitting. <laughs> he's got his tail pressed against the windshield. <laughs> 
Okay, so this is one of those situations where you try to make lemonade out of lemons, right? So we weren't planning on doing a kid crew video with a stuck backhoe, but we have a stuck backhoe, so you might as well make it a kid crew video. Thank you for watching Kid Crew. Please like and subscribe.